these have been an amazing three days, I think. It feels like a month at this point. Uh, <laughs> it's been amazing to get to know everybody. It's the conversations have been phenomenal. I've seen people learning about a ton of stuff, coming up with a bunch of new ideas, making pull requests, uh, filing issues, do writing documentation, learning about a whole bunch of concepts that they didn't know anything about and suddenly leveling up. That's been really amazing. But as, as David said, I think the most important thing that's going to come out of this is all of the relationships that you've built uh, with each other here. Uh, and so I'm really, really glad that that's been uh, a big focus of, the, of these three days and that we have formed a, a really amazing group. So thank you for, for spending your precious time with us uh, here. Yeah. So as you get ready to uh, leave the interplanetary station uh, and go back to, back to Earth where we need to build a lot of this stuff, uh, I want to remind you why we're here. So this is, you saw this slide from David's uh, talk when we opened uh, the project mission. Um, we want to ensure that all people have the ability to efficiently access and grow humanity's knowledge. We want to mindfully develop new technologies that preserve and promote the rights of individuals. When you think about a lot of the things that we're doing, they usually are very tightly connected to some important right that we hold dear, that we want to make sure is preserved for everybody around the world. Uh, and we want to support a persistent and upgradable open internet. Uh, this amazing machine that we've built uh, can only improve and get better um, as we, if we can upgrade it uh, safely. Uh, and we want to make sure that all information on the internet uh, can be uniquely and permanently content addressed on a distributed peer-to-peer -peer web. Uh, remember that uh, computing revolutions have uh, transformed our species uh, dramatically. Uh, remember that there are big changes coming ahead in the coming decades, that this is going to be an amazingly interesting century. Uh, we, some of the dinner conversations yesterday, uh, especially uh, the table that I was at, just dived into uh, a whole range of incredible things and discussions about what is going to happen over the next two, four, six decades. So uh, it'll be an amazing roller coaster. Um, and remember that the internet um, today is a, a huge part of everybody's lives, or not everybody, but a huge part of a big fraction of the world's lives, and increasingly so. Uh, and the properties of the tools that we use uh, really affect and impact uh, people's access to knowledge, people's access to um, all kinds of resources and, and their future lives. So an extremely high leverage thing to do is to just enable more people to uh, use the internet uh, well to have you know, lower latency connections, to have higher bandwidth, to be able to do all of the amazing, powerful things that you can do, um, and to do so safely. We have a lot of problems to solve, uh, but remember that computer revolutions take a long time sometimes. And uh, I want to just discuss how we can continue the camp uh, throughout, uh, throughout the year. And you know, before next year, I don't know when we might do another one. Um, so the first one is build together on GitHub. I think everybody kind of knows this one, but uh, a lot of the ideas and thoughts that have been percolating here uh, need to find their way back to GitHub. We've done a lot of really good documentation this, these last three days, but if we don't take the time to go and write our ideas on there, then our broader community, who's not here, can't learn from what you've come up with, can't help you build it, and so on. So uh, that's both just writing notes down, and then actually just building and hacking on the things together. So in terms of uh, all of those problems that we have to solve, they all, at the end of the day, translate to some code that we have to make and ship and improve. So let's uh, build all this together. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can join or start a product school chapter. So if you like hanging out with people in, in Meetspace, uh, you can make sure that that can happen more frequently by joining a for a school chapter or starting one. Uh, and you can run a workshop. I think now you've either run one uh, or you've seen one run, and you can probably take, it, take a stab at it too. And a bunch of these are recorded, so you will be able to also watch how uh, presenters go and, and run their workshops. So if you're interested in running a workshop, now you can. Um, uh, you can also host a meetup and just gather people together so you don't have to uh, go and create a whole workshop, but you can just uh, bring the community together uh, near you. Uh, you can also just hang out and discuss things on, you know, discuss at IPFuzz.io or IRC, or there's a whole bunch of other channels where we all get together. What I'd love to find is some way to have a 3D world where we can all hang out. So, you know, uh, whether it's a game, 
or something like that. I don't think we've, like Minecraft, I don't know. We, we should pick like one game and we should all play it. And I think it would be pretty awesome. Minecraft is probably like a, a good one because it has cubes. So <laughs> we can build stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. If somebody wants to set up a Minecraft, uh, IBFS community Minecraft server, I'd, I'd be down to hang out. Uh, uh, the next thing you can do is actually have fun together. I think this is a really important part of all open source. It, a lot of people just can do amazing things together by just having a lot of, uh, a lot of fun together. So keep doing amazing, awesome, fun, fun things. And build more awesome stuff. So as you go into you know, the next year, take all of the amazing knowledge that you've put together uh, and then you know, continue to make, it, make really, really awesome stuff. Uh, the, the next one is, hey, spend some time trying each other's stuff out. Uh, and I wanted to get a bunch of like, um, uh, images here, but I ran out of time. Uh, I've been amazed at the, at the sets of things that I've seen here uh, in the last few days. There's amazing products being built, uh, some really cool stuff that I didn't know like, was working so well already. So try each other's stuff out, play with it, give each other feedback, um, and build on. So I, one of the coolest things that I've observed is people building on each other's stuff. So you know, people building on Textile or Pinata, people building on um, a whole bunch of the libraries that people have been building. So that's a really, really cool thing and a really cool part of, part of that community. So you know, keep doing that. That's awesome. Um, uh, the next thing is uh, with the deep dives. Let's see if it's is it working. Oh, man. Yeah, there we go. So do you remember, do you remember the matrix? So now, so there's a bunch of problems, right? But now with the deep dives, you now have the knowledge in your brains of how to fix all the things. So now you can fly the helicopter and you can go and like scale a DHT or you know, do whatever and, and help solve it. Uh, and so the deep dives generally, or things like that generally translate to pull requests, which generally translate to problem solved. Uh, and it would be awesome to see more, a bunch more hex stickers. So I, I found a few. But uh, next time, like, make a hex sticker that's you know, compliant with the, with the hex protocol. It's, it's um, out there on the web. You can find it. And just bring your logo thing in hex so we can all like, put a bunch of hexes in our laptops. I think it would be, be really awesome. And thank you to the Node community for like, starting that. It's like, a great idea. Um, and so yeah, all of these things you can do to you know, uh, as you return to return to Earth, and I wanted to give a last thank you. Um, so amazing thank yous already, but again, a huge group. Let's let's thank all the content producers and the events team. It's an enormous amount of work uh, to make such a special three days happen. So really, a huge thank you to that entire group. And, and an, uh, I also want to thank a, a person who um, really made all of this happen in, in, um, by instigating it, by making sure that we put time into it, by like, coordinating a lot of the things going on, um, by insisting that like, no way in hell could we like, delay this and we, it had to happen now, and then making sure that uh, all of the content uh, uh, occurred and uh, planning a lot of that stuff and so on. And so really, this has been an em enormous labor of love um, and a huge, huge focus and an uh, all-consuming focus for one person, at least, for many people, actually. But I but, but, uh, especially want to highlight uh, David, who has spent an enormous <laughs> fraction of his life <laughs> making this for us. Yeah, let's all just give him a standing ovation. And I want to thank you, uh, because this event would not have been at all what it would be if you weren't here. Imagine like just empty space. <laughs> uh, no, but really, the, the conversations and things you brought to, to show and the problems that you want to solve and the ideas that you shared and the things you came up with, all of that is like really, really, really amazing stuff. So thank you for, for again, putting away everything else you were doing, being here, being present with each other, spending this time together, for, forging new connections, and and 
participating. So thank you so much. And uh, I want to, you know, also thank the broader community that couldn't be here today. So this is these kinds of events are limited. We can't, uh, you know, put 4,000 people in one room, nor can we coordinate that kind of a schedule uh, today. So uh, a huge, huge thank you to all of the people that help make all of this possible who aren't here now. So there's an like again a lot of people who who couldn't be with us today that would like to be, um, or like we like would like to be with us in a whole bunch of different events. So really huge thank you to the community that is not present here. So thank you if you're watching. And with that, uh, thank you very much. And uh, make sure to you know be careful when you exit the airlock. Don't make sure your helmet is good. Don't open the door too soon. Bad things can happen. Uh, and yeah, have a safe journey back to back to Earth. See ya. Hey. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs>